Hey folks, Brian here. It's been a while since I've 3D printed things because my 3D printer actually started breaking down. During the middle of printing the flower pot, it would stop sometimes within the first 10 minutes, sometimes five hours in, and sometimes right after the print finished. And it turned out to be a thermistor cable that broke. And that's the yellow cable that controls the temperature of the bed. And what I found out was when the bed temperature drops too many times, then the printer throws an error and Octoprint cancels the print. And I was getting this min temp triggered error. So I got the cables, put them in, and it started working again. And I'll show you a couple of tips and tricks that I ran into if you're doing the same thing. First, Lulzbot has a detailed guide with pictures on their website that I followed. This is a picture of my printer and you can't even see the yellow cable. So next you'll need to thread the cables through and you have to take each connector off. So make sure to make a memo of all the connectors and make sure to group the pairs of red and black wires together so that when the pair comes out the other end you know that they're supposed to be connected together. Finally, you can see how I redid the wires where the yellow wires are clearly visible and there's a lot of slack. And so when the bed moves up and down the Y axis, there, there's no change in the slack. So there's never gonna be any stress on the connection. So after I followed the detailed Lulzbot guide to put it all back together, I decided to celebrate by printing out the banana cage print so that I could put a banana on my bike. And it printed out perfectly well. There were no issues and you can see the yellow cable isn't being stressed at all. The cables have plenty of slack at their connectors. And finally, the temperature graph shows no variation for the bed or the extruder. So I knew that it was fixed. Unfortunately, although the banana was securely held by the cage, I just couldn't find an area to put it on my bike because the battery on my bike is so big. But nevertheless, I think that solved the problem and it wasn't too bad. And now I know how the whole 3D printer works, what all the wires do and so forth. So thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.